Hello Internet, I'm Bernard Suez, Tiki Specialist. In this tutorial, we'll see together the way permissions are set and how to use them to manage roles in Tiki. But before that, I would like to apologize for not publishing any video during October. Indeed, a very busy month for me. But I'll do my best to publish two videos before the end of this month, and the second video will certainly be about how to bootstrap a Tiki website, something people ask me several times this month, uh, using the wiki syntax, smart it and play. So, subscribe now to my channel if you want to be notified when a new tutorial is published. And it's a good time for me to thank Martin, Hugh, John, Boyan, Marco, Jay, many others that subscribe or send me a note about my tutorials. I really appreciate, thank you everyone for liking, sharing, supporting one way or the other so our community keep on growing and best practices are shared by everyone. Back to this tutorial, permissions is a key feature in Tiki and it explains why our open source software is selected by sensible company when we, they need very specific permission scheme. Uh, it's based on group memberships and there is a lot of to say, so as usual, let's start video tutorial right now. So in this Tiki Express tutorial, we review together why do we need permissions, what is a role and how to use groups, how to assign a user to a group, how Tiki assign permissions, the common types of permissions, the global permissions, the object permissions, uh, use the plugin group to apply different permissions inside a wiki page, an overview of the advanced permissions for category and for trackers. When you are publishing a website on the internet, different groups of people will have different roles. Visitor or anonymous, someone that didn't identify himself with a username and a password, for example, will be able to see, create and edit certain things, while admins or super users should be able to create, edit content, view other data and configure the Tiki site. To tell Tiki what group of user can see or do something, we use Tiki permissions in conjunction with other feature or functionality like the group, the object, the feature and the categories. That's not all, but other ways are advanced and outside the scope of this tutorial. A role is in Tiki, a group of users with specific privileges or attributions. Tiki come by default with three groups, anonymous, registered and admins. There may be inheritance from a group to another and so by default in Tiki, registered inherit the anonymous permissions. What can do anonymous? Registered can. Those are default rules. Anonymous for anyone that didn't log in. Registered for anyone that is logged and by default new user will be member of the registered group. Add means for the user able to set up and configure this Tiki. Note that the user admin is a special user that can see and do anything and has all the permissions. When a user is added, you can ask him or set automatically or manually from which group it will be member of. And you can have many groups as you want, even one group per user. For this tutorial and to show you how to create a group and assign a user, I will set up my Tiki with four roles. I go to the Groups Admin page, Setting Groups. We can see the group and their inheritance. Let's create our missing editors group. I give it a name, a description. I select the group it inherit permissions from. If a group inherit already from another group, you don't need to select both. In this case, editors will inherit from registered and that imply they will also inherit from anonymous. Below, there are more options and depending of your configuration, you may have much more. But this is not for this tutorial about Tiki permissions. Let's go now to our users admin page. You can go by clicking on settings user or use the admin user link at the top of the group admin page. 
The admin user is created by default during the Tiki installation process and I created a few users. I will have a user for each group except Anonymous that by definition is a group for all the vi visitors, non-user, people that are not identified. The last column of the table is to display groups assignment. Using the action branch and selecting add or remove from a group, I can change the group assignments for a selected user. I assign my editor user Jonah Jackson to the group editors. My registered user Peter Parker is already member of the group registered like any other user and the admin is me the admin. We have now four roles as anonymous is anybody not logged in. Tiki has several ways to apply permission on something. When you start a Tiki and have the, to set the primary permissions, we usually use global permission, a set of permissions applied on feature or functionalities at a global level, meaning all over Tiki. On the other side of the range of possible permission, we have object permissions. The object permission is applied to a Tiki object, a page, a file gallery, a tracker, etc. In between, Tiki has half a dozen of other possibilities like category permissions and feature specific permission, like for tracker item owned by a user or a group, topic permission for articles, and of course, exceptional permissions like temporary token uh, if you want to grant someone the permission to access content for a limited duration and weaving without being registered. Talking about range of applicable permission, object permission has preponderance over global permission. Let's check our global permission that are accessible under settings, permissions. As you can see within the top navbar and reflecting what we've seen so far, permissions are tied with groups and users. There is also an object permission list to help you check things and we will see later the plugin permission that can be very handy to see on an object what permission are applied to it. Let's review this page and its options. Three tabs, one to assign permissions, one to select the groups and one to select the features. Before assigning permissions, let's sure we select all groups and all feature. Back to the first tab, we have a checkbox to show permissions for a disable feature, a filter to look for a specific permission, a toggle with all the permissions applicable on the active feature for your Tiki configuration. If you feel a bit lost when viewing this long list, you can move over a checkbox and wait a bit for a tip tool that will show you what group it will be applied for. Quickly for my demo, I said that Anonymous can see page, register can see pages, editors can see pages and upload picture. What happened now if on the second browser I go to my Tiki? Anonymous can't see any page. I log in with my registered user and now I can see the pages but I can't edit them. I log in now with my editor user and now I can see pages and edit them. Great, but I want to relax a bit the permissions and I have a page Anonymous can access to explain them. They should register to see content. As admin, I go to the home page and at the bottom under the more button, I go to permissions. You are clearly told that you are about to apply permission on the object and that no other previous object permission were applied. I check Anonymous can view the page, apply. Now back to my home page, I wrote a quick text for my visitors. I switch browser and check again as Anonymous. As expected, Anonymous can see the page. To help you with such things, we have available in Tiki a permission wiki plugin. Let me activate it and assign it. This great tool was created to help with permissions. When you get confused, 
think about setting it, and then after that you can remove it. OK, let's improve a bit. My home page is now visible by all. We can improve this and have different content displayed for different roles using the plugin groups. The plugin group will check the actual log the user group and display relevant content depending on the group detected. The plugin is also able to display a specific content for my registered user and, else, display something else. I'll copy past content I have already prepared. I save. Let's check now on the different brother. This is what Anonymous will see now. As soon as I log in, on the same home page, I don't see now the previous content for my Anonymous, but the content I want my log user to see. While this Tiki Express tutorial is a beginner one, I can't hand it without showing you super quickly the categories permission or the specific trackers and tracker fields permissions. Categories, admin categories, and again, a click on the action branch will show you a link to the permissions available. In the tracker, you have many and flexible ways to show or hide data. At the tracker object level, using the branch again, permission link. Also, in the properties of a tracker, you have more permission setting. For example, the first one will allow you to set that a user can own item and he will be able to see them, while he won't be able to see the other's items. Also important, the option restrict non-admins to wiki pages access only. With this enable, your user will be able to see the data from their item using plugging on the wiki page, but they won't have access to the tracker features itself. Each field in a tracker has also its own set of permissions parameter. A lot, a lot of things to see and to discover. It was super quick, but it's up to you to explore and test now that you know it exists and where it is. Express tutorial it was, with those basic explanation in mind, you are ready to set pretty complex permission scheme. And with a little more practicing and experimenting by yourself, you'll be able to have your role working properly. And when your knowledge improves, please share it with the other tickers on my YouTube channel's comment, uh, the Tiki forum, the XMPP chat, whatever. Thanks for watching till the end this video. And if you like, you know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, send me a comment or send me an old video system or an old guitar uh, pedal. Uh, it's maybe somewhere in your basement or collecting dust. But me, I am collecting them and I can repair them eventually if they are broken. You will make me very happy and my happiness is very, very important to me. Thanks again for watching this Tiki Express tutorial and may the power of Tiki be with you. Oh, dans la boîte, ça. Allez, let's go.